The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. So, uh, give me a signal then. You're on. Okay. Hey, good morning, now, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. This is the Trader's Edge Show. It's about 11.06 in the morning. I'm having some fairly uh, decent technical difficulties out here, so it's going to be an interesting show. The technical difficulties, I can't hear a thing. So, you know, but it's, it's, usually we use the music to cue ourselves in, cue ourselves out, and obviously I would love to hear from you. But today, I think you need to send me an email. So send an email to steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject, any of you kind enough to put radio show question. We're inside the Tiger's Den. I tell you what gonna, is going to work best today for sure, because I, I really need to stay on the channel with the uh, production room out there. So if you send me a private message, uh, then I should be able to get that, and we can take a look at your instrument out there. So my apology for that. You know, everything does happen for us. Not sure what the force is just yet, but uh, we will go ahead and get through this. So right now, we've got all the U.S. equities straight to the upside. You've got the Dow up. 567 points. The S&P is up 83. The Nasdaq 333. And the Russell 49. That's 1 and 7 tenths percent, 2 percent, 2 and 6 tenths percent, 2 and 6 tenths, 2 and 6 tenths percent, respectively. The semis are up 3 percent or 87 bucks. The trainers are up 4 7. That's 3 percent to the upside. We've got gold trading out at 1818. That's up about 6 bucks. Silver trading out at 2080. Uh, that is up 32 pennies. Light sweet crude is back uh, buck 59, 88.92. Is a print there. Natural gas up 15 cents to the 30 treasury up eight ticks. Trade out of 142.20. Lead the charge dollar wise the upside. You've got booking holdings up 58 bucks, 3%. Mercado Libre, nearly 7%, 65 bucks. SVP Financial, $41, nearly 10%. HubSpot, a little over 10% or 38 buck rupees. We've got some movers, but we also have some shakers. Those shakers coming from T Tech Holdings. Down nine and a half dollars or thirteen percent. Springworks Therapeutics, eighteen percent to the downside, nearly seven bucks. Optimex Corporation down about six bucks or twenty six percent. Scribe Inc up four bucks, eleven percent. So we do have some shakers out there. But first, let's begin with what do we want to begin with? I'll tell you what we're going to begin with. We're going to go take a look at our we'll change panels here momentarily. We'll go take a look at the uh, daily equity future contracts, and there we will look at the levels at price. Needs to close above to negate their topping patterns. Now, each of these contracts have valid topping patterns. If we take a look at the ES Mini, we'll just simply expand out the uh, chart out here, make it a little easier. Pull this back just a tad. What we're going to see is a nice TD9 count top. That TD9 count top, uh, if price closes above 4188, that's the bar of bar number nine out here, that will negate that pattern. Now, there's still an A to B CD to the upside. There's a couple of perhaps that we could uh, generate out here, but this would be signaling to you and I. Now, what price wants to do is make its move up to 46.17 and a quarter. 46.17 and a quarter is the TD9 count breakdown level. So that becomes its target. If we were to get a bearish reversal candle on the move up, that would generate another sell the D point pattern. But what's going to have to happen is price is going to have to take out its green oscillator and change line in order to signal if there's any kind of traction there. So the level to be watching today inside the ESPN is 41.88. You do not want to be short if price closes above that level. The NQ... The NQ is not traded by resistance. The resistance here was established by its bearish engulfing candle that formed out here on the trade day of August the 5th. That set up a sell deep point pattern. But what transpired yesterday is price pulled back, tested, and rejected that green oscillator and changed on the same thing this morning. That's a buy signal. Well, the real buy signal inside the NQ is the confirmation of that buy signal would be a close of up 13,384.50. That is the high of that bearish engulfing candle. So that's the next number. Put on your pad of paper. Price closes above that. Don't want to be short. Unless there's some kind of really intraday pattern. So I'm not really referring to intraday. Someone trading a 15 minute or 30 minute chart. We're looking at the daily time here. And this would suggest a close above uh, the uh, the sell the D point 13384.50 would signal a move up to the 15 to 28.50 level. 
Let's go take a look at the Dow equity futures contract. The Dow equity futures contract right now is trading above the resistance that was established by its uh, bearish engulfing candle. Now, it was really that, that candle, that formed yesterday, engulfed the prior day. So the resistance is really the high of the candles that are being engulfed, either the engulfing candle or the candles being engulfed. So that sets up 33065. That's the high from two weeks ago. The price is well above that level. You close above that level, and gates that signal, suggests that price wants to make a move to 3577. We trade right now at 33306. Again, A to B equals CD patterns are present. Just like the bearish engulfing candle that formed yesterday, that could identify a sell the D point pattern. But that green oscillator change line is so key. If you don't close below that, then it's just simply a retracement back to support. And if we take a look at the Russell 2000 here, just to go ahead and uh, finish out the equity future contracts, it has a T9 sell top. It also has a sell the deep. That was because of yesterday's uh, bear sash came here to developing camps out here. So resistance here is 1959.80. Price is trading at 1962 right now. Close above 1959.80. It's going to suggest to move back to its recent highs. Those are the highs from March. That would get us into the 21.32 type area up there. So that's what's going on. We take the daily time charts for the equity futures. Let's go take a look at uh, some shorter term time frame charts and uh, this will be for the ES Mini. So on the ES Mini got a uh, five hour chart. Five hour chart here is going to be gained at seventh wave top. It's rose to indicator top where they close above its high which is 4188. Same thing that we're looking at inside the daily time frame. So it close above that we come into the uh, two o'clock hour. Wait a minute. Do we uh, one second here. 41.92. We are gated, or, or prices are negated. This at nine o'clock. Pick up on that. So that pattern's been negated. There is no top pattern for the five-hour time frame chart. That would also mean there is no pattern for the four-hour time frame chart, which had that same wave number seven and rose indicator top. You look at a 100-minute time frame chart. The top and signal present at the moment. Your bar number four. On a 60-minute chart, you are completing a. You will complete a TD nine count. As we come into the 12 noon time frame, bar number nine is going to complete. I take that back. Bar number nine is going to complete at noon. The bar following bar number nine is going to complete at one o'clock. So that suggests we could see a short term top. We've got bar number eight that is complete on the 30 minute time frame chart. That says at 12 noon, we're likely to have a uh, T9 count and at 12 30, the completion of that pattern. The 15 minute chart, 10 minute chart, really not well, the 50 minute chart might be signaling a uh, short top. Uh, that's if it maintains this roadsman indicator. Uh, There's a bearish start to confirm the roadsman indicator top. The price is still above its daily profile, its green house center change line. So it's kind of a questionable uh, topping signal. Right now. Overall, take a look at the yes mini. A nice rally, price trading above that key resistance level. Don't know whether it will hold. That's something I want to take a look at at day's end. Right now, the 60 minute and the 30 minute charts are the ones signaling that they're be a short-term time frame chart, a short-term top up there, and that could take price back to support. Now, the 60-minute time frame is all the way down at 41.61. So you want to watch the 30 minutes as well. Levels 42.50 is one level, 41.87 is another, and 41.73 is the next out there. So hopefully we've uh, timed this pretty well. No, no. Uh, hopefully we've timed this pretty well, and uh, off the motor break. And, uh, so we'll come back here and try to work on the sound. Steve Rhodes with TFN. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Coming in out of breaks out there, it means I really can't take any calls, but I do want to hear from you. So you can always send me an email, like Alton has done here, and a few others, and I'll uh, get to your uh, get to your request. Now, also, I know that there's some choppiness, at, uh, apparently, some choppiness uh, on your end, and my apology for that. What we're going to do is during the next break, which is about eight minutes from now, I'll go ahead and reboot my whole system. What that means is I won't come back on live during the normal segment, so there'll be a little bit of a delay to get my whole system uh, powered back up. We're going to try uh, that as a, a fix. In the meantime, let's just keep rolling along here. So Alton writes in, and Alton says, good morning. Steve, great call in the market so far. Please look at AU, ticker symbol AU, looking for an entry point in your take if it's a good uh, stock for the uh, long-term holder out there. So we take a look at AU. Let's make sure I've got that right chart up on the screen. Yep, we've got that up on the screen, so we're good there. That sounds better. Well, that's cool, but I don't know what's going on there with the uh, system. So we take a look at Anglo Ashanti out here. Right now it's trading out at 1612 and it's trading above the top of its daily profile. Really it's a bearish structure daily profile that uh, gapped up above that two days ago. So 1498. So that's suggesting a potential change in trend. And it, does it have a bottom? It does. It's got a nice road momentum indicator bottom. As far as where is this next target or next resistance level to the upside? I know you asked, you know, for a buy point out here. And on a daily time frame chart, you know, I'd have to say uh, it would be some kind of a, a pullback, and a pullback to where? You know, the the 1498, 1467, and I don't have any indication here, Alton, that that's what price is going to do, but that would, in essence, be your entry area. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, what I don't have here is a bottoming signal. It doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed. It just means I don't have a bottom signal. Price is inside a bullish structured profile. It's well above the center of that profile at 1437. Alton, what that typically signals is that price should make its move to the top of the profile. That's at 1709. So it's now a good time to add when you're, you know, a buck away, a less than a buck away from that resistance level. You know, I don't know. Uh, if I look at the uh, monthly time frame chart out here, it looks like really just a good old fashioned consolidation. So we'll just expand that out just so you can see. So this is trying to answer your question, or what do the charts say about the uh, longer-term move out here? So we're looking for that longer-term pattern. And that longer-term pattern, what I see out here, maybe you see the same kind of a thing, is in essence is a consolidation that looks something like that. So right now, from that perspective, you are, or it is, near the bottom of that consolidation. 
And that would at least suggest that price should move over time to 1910, maybe up to the top of that consolidation level. The top of that consolidation would get you into the 25 or 26 level out there. So is Anglo Ashante the strongest of the uh, gold stocks out there? I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, as far as an entry point, it would be on some kind of retracement. And right now, from a daily profile standpoint, that retracement would be in the area of 1467 to 1498. But again, I don't have any signal, but that's what's going to unfold out there. 1555 could be another area. Salt and I do hope that helps you out uh, with what you're looking for. And uh, thanks so much for taking the time to go ahead and write in. Our next question coming in from a KI out here, Kumis. And uh, a cause, okay, and uh, says, hey, Steve, uh, how do you see Disney for an entry point? So let's get the uh, Disney charts up on our screen out here. DIS is the ticker symbol for following along at home. And uh, Disney right now is trading out at uh, 111.15. So what your question is, is where is an entry point on uh, Disney? So the entry point here would be if price could pull back and test its green oscillator and change line. So we'll take a look at that. Now, where that's printing at right now, cause, is not necessarily what we'd be printing at as price moves down to that area. Should price move down to that area. Now, that is 106 and a quarter. And the top of its profile, daily profile, is 106.65. What's missing here, you've got the A to B equals CD pattern. But what we don't have now, um, maybe we had it yesterday. Let's just take a look at the A to B leg. We'll just move that over to the C to D leg just to see where we're at inside that pattern out here. Let's move this. Come on. There we go. So, okay, cool, cool. Actually, so it has not even completed the one-for-one -one level. That would get us up into about the 114 area. Now, what this needs to confirm a sell the D point pattern is going to be a bearish reversal candle. Today's a gap to the upside. That's a bullish signal out there, not a bearish signal. So I'd say let the Disney complete the A to B. It might be more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. And then buy the retracement out there. At least that's what I would say. And a reason to suggest that to you, cause is when we look at the weekly time frame chart for Disney, nice roads momentum indicator bottom, but price is struggling in the resistance zone. And I say zone because it is a bearish structured profile. And that says that sellers are hanging out between 111.41 and 115.39. If price did close above 115.39, that would be telling us about a change in trend in Disney and its intent to go run up to the 133.59 level out there. Now, Disney, it looks like on a monthly basis, so on the monthly basis, it topped with a TD9 cone. So let's take a look at the A to B pattern that it initially set up here. I'm going to go with this right there where price made a TD9 cone. And uh, let's take that to its uh, C point and see if we've got a, we do. So what Disney has done on a monthly basis is it has confirmed a buy the D point pattern. It did that when it uh, completed the one to one price projection area. And that, then it was confirmed with that uh, bullish piercing candle for the month of July. Now, we can also see that uh, cause that it's also and change on its change colors. That tells us, because we have a valid bottom, that price over time wants to go target that area. That's at 133.46. Of course, we know that Disney has its work cut out for us in the sell zone on the weekly base, 111 and 115. So you're looking for an entry point. That entry point would still be a retracement, the ideal retracement would take it down to the 106.65-ish level. That would be both the top of its daily profile and that green oscillator and change line. So what we need to see here first is the market or Disney itself move lower, and then you and I can come back to that uh, stock chart, take a look at even at the intraday chart to see if we can find some type of signals. So, Cause, I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Les writes in, in very small print, I might add there, Les, so maybe on your next one, you could just for Stevie's eyes, you could increase it from a font of like maybe six to maybe 12 or 14 or something like that. I do appreciate you sending it. I've just got to try to blow this up, see if I can read it. So Myers are good. They're not, man, actually, you know, that's that's suspect. Let me try turning this thing sideways out here. There we go. Hey, Steve, my chart signaled a buy long on GDX yesterday at the close. What do you see? Thanks, Les. Well, let's go take a look at the GDX, get that up on our screen out here, and see what kind of signals we can find from it. And uh, so I, I'm not sure what uh, what was the signal for you on a GDX yesterday. Uh, so when I take a look at the GDX, all I can see is that it was moving into its gap that it had formed on the trading day of August the, uh, what was it, August the 8th out there. So one potential buy point might have been just filling that gap, which would have had to get you down to a low of 26.30.
and it didn't do that. Yesterday, it got down to a low of 2648 uh, out there, so it did complete the gap. But your question specifically was, well, that was a buy point. You, you showed us a buy point. That's fine. Don't we see. Yesterday's close. What do I see? I see right now price testing resistance levels. Those resistance levels less are both the top of its daily profile. That's currently printing at the uh, 23, I'm sorry, 2734. And just above that, it's TD9 down breakdown resistance level, 2761. So I show the TDX trading in resistance. And the close by resistance, that would be a good play. We'll come back and look at the TDX with less as soon as we get back to this break. Remember, I'm going to reboot my system out here, so we're not going to be able to start that next segment right out of time. Steve Broden, TDX. Be back soon. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. 
Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought if you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we did try to reboot the system. No, we didn't try. We did reboot the system. That did not resolve the issue. So I still have no sound in my ear other than the uh, tinnitus sound, which is not a real pleasant sound to have out there. But in any event, I believe you guys can hear me. We were taking a look at the uh, GDX, so we want to go ahead and finish that off. That was for um, Les. And uh, so, Les, what we've got with regard to the GDX, it is running into resistance. Again, that's the top of its daily profile. It is the uh, TD9 count breakdown level of 2761. And then just above that, if you look to the weekly time frame chart, GDX has got resistance at 27.99, and then just above that is the oscillator and change line. So we don't know, uh, and we do have a nice, we've got a daily Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, and basically just a consolidation with inside its profile. What we have on the weekly chart is really not a confirmed by the D point pattern. If we take a look at this, you can see that price is well above, or the low that it came in here a couple of weeks ago is well above the one to one price projection level. So we don't have a bottom signal. Doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed. Just means we don't have a bottom signal out here. So was yesterday a buy um, 
a buy, uh, you know, signal. There was a buy signal. If you were using yesterday, no, yesterday. Uh, so I don't, I don't show that. But, but you're using different tools out here. The most important thing that I can share with you is what I have shared with you so far, which is where the battles are up top. This doesn't tell me uh, whether we're going to be able to get through those battles or not. Uh, yesterday's volume on the pullback was a light volume pullback. As an example, yesterday's volume. Price pulled back with about 16 million shares. We are two hours into the trading session, and it's done nearly 9 million shares, and it is moving higher. So this does say that at least you've got the volume behind it to try to push through this resistance level. doesn't guarantee that it will, but it's pushing higher to get through that resistance level. So the all clear with regard to the GDX less would come with a close above the weekly oscillator and change line. And that's about the $28 area. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. And uh, sorry about the uh, audio out there. And you sent me another message. The print is so small. I just can't read it. My my apologies. You've got really great eyes. That's, that's all I can say. And I'm not hitting on you. And Hector, you've done the same thing. Your print's just a tad, tad larger. But it says, hey, Steve, well, happy, wonderful... Wahoo, Wahoo, Wednesday out there. Google, ABC up, breakout. You've been loading up the racket. So let's pull up uh, Google out here, see what its charts are telling us. Question goes on. We've been loading up our wagon since the bottom of May, the bottom of June, and the bottom of July, each time believing it was the buy of the D point to the moon. It's finally headed towards the moon out there. When we take a look at uh, Google right now, you can see that it's trading above. Uh, both both above a uh, prior a high out here from a couple of days ago. So that looks pretty good. You've got that nice roads momentum indicator bottom out here. You're seeing a series of higher, slightly higher highs. Um, not so much with regard to the higher lows out there. But on a weekly time frame chart out here, what we've got, and you can see the A to B equals CD pattern they was referring to. Or if you can't see it, I'll sort of draw it in out there. Whoops, that didn't work. That the happened there. Um, the A to B would look like this. So that's your A to B point. And we just move that over. Now this is going to be an expansion of that uh, line, more than a one one eight C. And uh, so you can see it, it, it more than did that. So you've got that nice hammer candle. That confirmed your buy the D point. Pattern. So you're absolutely right about that. Now, what price is doing is uh, we're looking at the uh, weekly. Price is trading above the top of its weekly profile. Now, that's going to be important on Friday. It's nice to have that today. But it's really going to be important on Friday. So 120.65 is a number that you and uh, Patty are looking at. Price closes below that. Then the signal will be, and the price should make its way to the 132.94 level. 132.94 is a TD9 count break down. So the this coming Wednesday, August 10th, Basil Chapman will be hosting an all-day live webinar from 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Eastern Time, where he'll be presenting the technical tools based on the Chapman Wave methodology, a full in-depth course on his entire trading system. Over the five hours of live education, Basil will discuss studying and practicing entry and exit points, assessing where to add or subtract from positions, utilizing simple technical tools for holding positions longer, taking bear charts and adding notations, tools, and patterns, as well as identifying identifying three core formations that repeat in every time frame and much more. When you sign up, you get a chart booklet emailed to you immediately to start studying and you gain access to his daily newsletter, The Opening Call, a $149 value. The cost to attend is only $295 and the full five hours will be archived. Don't miss this live special event Wednesday, August 10th with Basil Chapman. For all the details and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com right now. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about a number of things here today, having some uh, technical issues. And I think I was talking right as we were going into that, that commercial. Again, I couldn't, couldn't hear anything. So let me go back to the uh, Google. Uh, hopefully I can uh, somehow pick up where we left off. So what Hector and Patty are looking for, their question is, is, is Google headed to the moon? So with regard to where Google is headed to, right now on a daily basis, its price target is 131.92. That is a TD9 count breakdown level. On a weekly time frame chart, we talked about how Google right now is trading above the top of its profile, 120.65. If it closes above that on Friday, that's going to suggest a change in trend. Google's got a nice A to B equal CD pattern to the downside on a weekly basis, and that's roads meant to make the bottom on the daily time frame. And on the monthly time frame, with prices, it's got a nice TD9 count top, and price pulled right back to breakout support, 100 points. It was slightly above that. So that helped. If, in fact, price on a weekly basis close above 120.65, 120 then that's going to suggest to 132.94. So we have 132.94 to target 131.92 on our charts. Patty and Hector, that's where the moon is located. And on the monthly time frame, the uh, target would be 134.12 to 141.39 area. So I hope that helps you out. It does look like we we'll just make that run. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in and have a uh, wonderful yourself. I don't see any other questions so far. Um, so, uh, although the, I believe there might be something inside the den. SNP is reduced. AC, can we look at nuggets? Thank you, I am long. We can, but uh, and we will, SNP. I'll put those charts up on the screen, but really it's the GDX charts that you want to be looking at versus the uh, nugget charts. For example, when we looked at the GDX, we looked at the GDX, you may recall, we could see that price was trading to the top of its daily profile level. Well, I guess a nugget is doing the same thing, or closely doing the same thing. That's at 34.75. 3475 is also a TD breakdown level. But again, I would focus more on what the GDX is doing versus the uh, nugget. You've got a nugget, you've got a nice rose indicator bottom for its daily time frame. Uh, for its uh, weekly time frame, we don't have a confirmed bottom. It's an A to B equals CD downside that, that says it should add. Or that does not mean that that's where it went to. So your level, s and I suppose, is going to be 34.75. And if price can get above that, the next battle is going to be on the weekly offset and change line at 36.03. If price gets above that, then it talks about or is suggesting price moving further uh, further higher. Further higher. Boy, you love that grammar out there. Where would further higher be be if that was actually grammar? Well, that would be $44 and so 34.75 is the line of sand. That's where your battle is uh, drawn. And I would really pay attention to GDX versus NUGT. Just uh, that's where I found that to be helpful to you. So hope that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for the uh, request out. Um, just looking to see. Okay, got one here from from Dan. It looks like. Hey, how about AQST? So Dan, let's get that AQST. Thanks for. Uh, I really do appreciate its help. It's a, it's you know, a slightly convoluted show today. So getting these requests just kind of keeps me centered, focused. Of course, it also tells you I don't really pay attention to the clock, uh, which is how I just kind of run through. 
Okay. So we take a look at AQST. Yesterday had a stellar day, and what it did was it ran into resistance, which was one of the TD9 breakdown points. So that was at a buck twenty. It was a nice big old shooting star out there. So the question is, was that a sell to deep? The easy way to find out is to actually draw it. So let's draw on the A to B level. The A to B is going to look like this, or right about that. And then we can just simply move that over to the C to D area. So this is going to be an approximation. I'm not going to spend time to find if I've got the exact flow. It looks like it might be that trading day. So yes, yesterday was a sell to D point pattern. Okay, we have that established. However, does that mean you were going to sell that T point today? Well, here's the issues if you not, I know didn't know what sort a dollar stock out there. We can still talk about this. This method was a dollar or a hundred dollars. What it is, I will share with you next. Price still close above the top of its daily profile, and it's a. And when you're above the top of the daily profile, you're above resistance up there. So even though you get a sell the deep topping pattern out there, what you really get is a neutral signal. Now, what AQST needs to do to truly give it tell us that it's on its merry way because it still has a sell the D point. And that's going to remain in effect until price closes above yesterday's high. Yesterday's high was at $1.36. Price is trading above the TD profile, so that looks pretty good. You might get a uh, TD9 count bottom uh, signal out here. In order to do that on multi stand, price has to close below 40 at the end of the month. That's probably not what you want to hear out there, but that would say we're not going to do a whole lot. So, with regard to AQST in summary, um, you were looking for long term resistance. We've given you the buck 22. We gave you the high yesterday Sudi Star candle. But that, next resistance looks like it would be $2.81. $2.81 is the center chart, the 89 count breakdown area. Above that, 343 to 409. It's the bottom and center of structured monthly. Out there. So those are your resistance levels, Dan. Hope that helps you out, and thanks so much for the request out there. So we got a couple minutes to go in this segment. You're welcome. A couple minutes to go in this segment. Out here, oh, it looks like another question coming in. Is that possible? Just some real band. If there's anyone else in the internet, I'm not. Nah, yeah, it's not a bandwidth issue on my part, uh, Dave. It is a Skype issue more than anything. Else. So uh, I get plenty of uh, plenty of and download stuff. Uh, and I apologize for the clipping that's going on. I can't hear it, but uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is out there. So, let's go to, uh, what do I want to do next out here? I want to I'm going to crawl in a hole. Just kidding, yeah. I want to, let's see if this stuff is saved. Pull up my uh, uh, cash industry out there. So what I want to give to you are the levels to be watching and observing for PM. Why is that? Because if the S&P 500 will expand out the chart, closes above 4186.62, and we're at 42.03 right now, but the S&P will still negate its TD9. That would then signal another an A to B upside, the next bearish reversal candle would identify itself as a deep point pattern. But short of that, price target is 46.03. That is for the S&P 500. 4186.62. I close above that, we suggesting not to be short. If you take a look at the NDX 100, all that it needs to do is close above yesterday's gap to the downside. That's 13,10380. We're well above that level. That is then signal what price wants to do in the 100. Let's move up towards 15,16189. It's TD9 count breakdown level. If you look at the Russell 2000, it's tinkering right now so with the resistance of TD9 count and sell the D point pattern. That is at 19,59. We're at 1961 right now. Close above 1910 says that Russell 2000 wants to make a target run for 2210. Again, a TD9 resistance level. If you look at the socks out here, all the time it needs to do to get back on this merry way is not take out its high, but take out the bottom of that gap. It's at 296132. We're trading above that right now. Now, there is resistance, and that's at the uh, 308238 level out there. That's what's going on. And that's what's going on. 17, negates its cell D point pattern. Seabroach with TFNN. We'll be right back to close up the show. Just
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, so this is the last segment. Uh, thanks so much for uh, sticking with me here. Even though we've got these sound issues, we'll do everything we can to resolve those for tomorrow's show out there. Right now, you got the Dow up uh, 514, S&P up 81, NASDAQ 100, 341. The Russell's up uh, 48 points out there. And so it uh, uh, looks like the rally's going to stick. But uh, let's go over and take a look at those ES mini charts here, just simply to close out the show here for the next couple of minutes. And that is by taking a look at the uh, – so the – the best signals are coming from the 60 and the 30 minute time frame out there. So, uh, and what I mean by that is you've got a TD nine count top that is going to confirm at uh, 12 noon. The pattern will complete at 1 p.m. Why do I say that? Because so far, bar number nine is going to be the high of the session, but the highest high of that pattern can form on the bar following bar number nine. Now, what you want to do here is note that high. If you see a close above that coming into three o'clock, that tells you the pattern is negated, strong momentum move to the upside, and the markets continue to move higher. We have a, uh, looks like we will also have a confirmed TD9 count top for the 30 minute time frame chart. In both instances, price, or is, in both instances, price is, price is above the top of their profiles out there and above their green oscillator and change line. So even with a TD9 count top present, the overall signal for the 30 and the 60 minute chart is simply uh, neutral. Now, I can pull up all the 60-minute time frame charts here. Uh, we're going to try to do that real quickly and see if each of the 60-minute time frame charts have TD9 counts. 
If they do, that would be more of a signal to prepare for some type of uh, retracement out here. And voila, the answer is they do, or they appear to. So just looking at the uh, NQ, and the NQ needs to spike above 13.375 and 13, yeah, okay. So yeah, you've got TD9 count patterns that are present for all of these, and that suggests a retracement. Typically, those, those retracements will take us back towards the oscillator and change line lines out there. So you can see those on the screen. Folks, again, thanks so much for being here. We'll try to have a cleaner show tomorrow. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and we'll try to see you and speak to you clearly on Terrific Thursday. Take care, folks.